Today's project consists of opening the bore on this to 63 millimeter. Now I'm going to mount this keyless chuck. And use that to hold this dial. And then I can go ahead and dial this into the machine. With that all dialed in nice, go ahead and install our adjustable boring head. So we're pretty much ready to bore it and next thing for me to do is select an RPM. Now we could spin it really fast and normally that's how I would do this. I'd run this at about 660 RPM just because of the range of speeds on my machine. Um, and it would just be spinning really fast and we just go wah, right through there and I mean maybe that's fun, maybe not. But uh, since we're boring, let's make it boring. and spin this slow just like that and I'm gonna try and zoom in on there and we'll watch this thing pass through there all right well look how good that came out well, this could be fun put a little bit of lube in there and let's give this thing a go All right. Come in here and just get a rough idea of what we've done so far. Right now we're at 2 inch 242. We're aiming for 2 inch 480. So now I can come up in here and adjust this. come in here we're gonna do one full revolution here and that's a hundred thousandths so that'll be 50 aside and now we can go ahead and do another pass
All right. Ooh, that was fun. So we're getting closer. Now I'm gonna come in here, I'm gonna take off another 100 thousandths pass, just like that last one. Come back, take another measurement. And it's saying we got about 40 thousandths to go, so we're getting pretty close. So I'm gonna change my measuring tool. I'm gonna to go to an inside micrometer now. This is gonna allow me to get in there a little bit better. See exactly where I'm at. So according to this, we're at two inch, 444 thousandths. So we got ourselves about 36 more to go. So I'll just come over to my boring head and we'll increment this, 36 thousandths. That should be that right there. And once again, Let's start cutting. I'm going to come in here, take another inside diameter measurement. There we go. Be able to zoom in on that. We are right on the money, so beauty. Now we've created a couple jagged edges uh, right here on our entry and back here where we came out so we're gonna have to fix that up and for that I'm gonna change my tool so now we're all set up <clears throat> with this tool I'm gonna come in here and break this sharp edge and Put a small little chamfer on the ends too. Just like that. As for down here, I'm hoping we can just poke through here enough. Oh yeah. I can just Open up the diameter a bit until our little piece of tool contacts the edge there. And just like that, I was able to chamfer the bottom edge too. Beautiful. Go ahead and loosen my clamps. There we go. Got 
that board out and chamfer looking nice. I'm gonna go wipe this down. It's got some WD-40 on it and you know some little aluminum chips here. And there we go. That's just a, another one of those quick little machine shop jobs that show up here all the time. Some are complicated and some are relatively easy. So that's it for this. I'm gonna get back on to some other work here. Thanks for tuning in everyone and I'll catch you later.